Today on Oahu, Red Hill fuel pipelines are expected to be repacked. The Joint Task Force says it's among the major milestones needed before it can safely defuel the, bunk, the bulk fuel storage facilities main tanks happening in October. Repacking involves filling the pipelines with fuel to remove air in preparation for the gravity-based defueling process in October. Today's repacking procedure provides an opportunity for those overseeing the process to ensure the integrity of the pipelines. Now, in order to ensure the safety of the surrounding environment and those involved, trained personnel will supervise this process. The effort is expected to last several days. Now, ahead of this crucial next step, U.S. Senator Maisie Hirono met with the commander of the Joint Task Force Red Hill to emphasize the importance of safety. Senator Hirono released a statement on the meeting saying, quote, Admiral Wade concurred, highlighting the preparation his task force has done along the state, along with state and federal agencies to ensure this process occurs safely and without incident. And in the meantime, the search continues today for members of the public willing to be a part of Red Hill's Community Representation Initiative. The Environmental Protection Agency is working with the Navy and the Defense Logistics Agency to recruit members. The group will be tasked with presenting community input when it comes to Red Hill defueling efforts and the eventual permanent closure of this site. The deadline to nominate someone is September 6th, and those interested may submit their information online on our website, it's kitv.com slash links. The 10 members will be selected on September 16th.